Now, obviously, we're saying goodbye to Henry Cavill as The Witcher. How special has it been working with him on this show? And how do you think these last episodes honor his version of the character? Oh, it's been an incredible like honor to work with Henry. He's He brings so much every single day, so much commitment, so much grit to the role. Working day in, day out with him and seeing how much he puts into this character. Yeah, it's, it's really quite inspirational. And well, yeah, I'm going to miss him. Yeah. I'm going to miss him a lot. I think it's sort of beautiful because three is a kind of magic number, isn't it? Mm. And he's been able mm. to put his mark on and bring his version of Geralt to the world. And it's been loved and appreciated. And, you know, he's really, really helped to set the Witcher series on the map and now I think he's doing what all great actors do with great fantasy characters. They hand the baton on to the next actor to take it on and I think it's, it'll be really moving to see, to, to watch, I think fans watching this, you know, being aware that he's he's moving on and it'll be become something different and exciting next season will be really moved throughout the series to sort of watch him. They'll have a special little edge to it. But very much we think it's a celebration of him and his work and we're, we're really excited for you all to see it. I mean, he's a phenomenal mm -hmm. actor and he's just, mm -hmm. he's such a gentleman on and off set. And it was, it was always like a dream of mine to be able to work with him. So just in this season, being able to be on, on, on screen with him is like a dream come true. Yeah. I had a great day on set with Henry. And I think he's just such a lovely person. And such a brilliant, you mentioned such a brilliant leading man, but a leading man in real life. You know, very welcoming, cares a lot about the people he's working with and yeah. all of us working towards one goal. But the reason I loved working with him so much is because I love to sit down and get to talk about character and our intentions. And the scene between the two of us, the surface level, if you take it for what it is, you might not receive the meanings that we were talking about. It's kind of the, the things that are said in between the lines with looks. And it was really interesting to kind of play this scene that's on the surface, knowing that we had agreed what's going on bubbling under the surface. I thought that was lovely. I was, I was actually surprised how, how funny he is. Oh, yeah. He's a very funny man. We got on really well having a laugh, actually. And I, I, I put a lot of store by that, to be honest. I mean, it's probably very shallow of me, but I, I like to be around people who are making me laugh or funny or whatever, or have, have a sense of humor about what they're doing. And Henry very much is, is of that type, you know. Not someone who's taking himself too seriously. Right. He's great, he's great. And he, and he loves a, a world of Warcraft. I was gonna say, you two connected over history and everything. Yeah, history and gaming and all that sort of stuff. He paints his own little figures. It was a bit, I mean, I didn't know any of that. And it was, it was very interesting. We spoke with you guys at To Doom. You had not met Liam yet. No. How excited are you to start working with him? Oh, yeah. incredibly. Mm. I mean, we've emailed, we've, we've exchanged emails and swapped quotes from the books and things like that. Oh, um, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we've nerded out with him a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, who knows, it's gonna be, I think we're, all, we're as excited as everyone else. Sobe feels welcome to yeah. speak to mm. such a big, yeah, it's such a big role, but we're so excited to work with him. Yeah, welcome him into the family. Yeah. What has been the best memory that's come up today as a result of just kind of looking back at the season? Uh, Richard! Richard. Uh, Richard! There was one scene in which an actor, uh, we were reminiscing about one actor who shall remain nameless, who called Henry's character Geralt Richard halfway through a scene. And it's the the most that it's, the, it's just was because he was so he committed so hard and so well to the character and to the scene. He kept going, and Henry, myself, and Freya. That's the only time I've seen all three of us corpse or break at exactly the same time. <laughs> Richard of yeah, when Richard of yeah. Rivia. <laughs> The you know cheap knockoff. That's great. <laughs> what would you say your favorite thing that you were most excited to explore for your respective characters in this season is? Really, for me, it was about I knew that I'd be working with so many characters I hadn't worked with before, and lots of characters would be coming together for the first time. So you know, for the first time, you know, Yennefer and Geralt and Ciri are together, but also they're together with our mm -hmm. characters and the Aratusa gang. Um, the Aratusa gang was added to with fantastic new actors, Sophia Engar and Rochelle Cassie. Rose and Cassie Clare. And you know, we, we just, we're, we're so thrilled to have been able to be on set together and hang out and sort of get into scenes together. And that was, that was the thing I was looking forward to the most. Yeah, definitely. I mean, acting with those people as well is just such a pleasure. And it, it's such a dream working with Freya, with Henry, and obviously with Anya. I think also for Sabrina, 
I really wanted to give the fans, you know, the Sabrina from the books, to have her the most confident she's ever been, the most fiery, the most provocative, the most seductive. It was so amazing to finally be able to do that. And I think you've seen it in season one, you've seen it in bits in season two, and now finally I feel like in season three you, you really see Sabrina. The writing's so good and there's so much stuff to play. What excites me most about Radovid is he's just not what he seems. And to get to play all the sort of, to get to go into their terrifying, devious, bad world and also get to play a, a love story was really exciting. My answer is quite similar to yours in terms of the different layers and the different emotions that you get to play and how they, you know, they can change on a dad. It's everything. <laughs> You know, when you're reading it, you think you have a hold of the character and then the next line comes, you're like, oh, no, we're going in a different direction. So for me, it's getting to play all of those layers. I hope I did. But and also there was the challenge of how much does Philippa want to reveal to the character in front of her and how much does she want to bring the audience in on whether this is a facade or whether it's truthful. So that was a really interesting dy dynamic for me to play, sorry, because there were moments that I wanted the audience to be in on it with me. And then there may right. be times where I was like, I want you to think this, but really it's this. So that was really fun and challenging mm. for me to play. I just loved uh, sort of being tied to a hook and hung up and, and thrashed by Philippa. That was... Uh, he actually it's said not, he's not going to do the job unless we do that. It's so. just <laughs> not something that you expect when you go into the acting business. You know, that isn't the number where, you know, possibly you might aspire to play Hamlet or something like that. <laughs> not to necessarily hang by a hook uh, while you're being um, beaten by a masochist. And so that was really, uh, really fun. And actually it brought us closer, closer together, together as characters. Um, I'm excited for them to see the family come together. Yeah. Seeing together, the yeah. four of us together hasn't happened. Yeah. So that's, I think that'll be nice for them to see that finally. It was so. nice for us to mm. finally be yeah. four. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for them to see a Yaskia who's, uh, I don't know, he's just, he's figuring stuff out. He's been a bit wayward for two seasons, and the third season he's sort of finding his right path, and I hope people enjoy that. I think it'd be really nice for the fans to see Geralt and Yennefer working together a bit more. Mm. Yeah. Now we're getting two volumes, so we have volume one coming out and then volume two premiering later this summer. How do you describe volume two in comparison to volume one? Chaos. Yeah. Destruction. Chaos. I don't know how else you can describe it. I think that's, those are good words. Yeah, destruction and chaos, and it really, it changes the continent forever. This season, I think, you know, season one and season two were unbelievably brilliant, and I think that this season is the best season we've had, and the stakes are so high, and you really see the fallout of that in, in the end of um, season three. Definitely shocking. Heartbreaking. Oh, heartbreaking. Yeah. There's lots of moments, especially when I was reading the script, that I was like, oh no! How Blo could you? <laughs> Bloody. Oh, what have you got? Bloody. Disturbing. Oh, disturbing. Ooh. Yeah. Really? Yeah, Dark. so. Not, not a lot. <laughs> I don't want to watch it. <laughs> not a lot of laughs. How do you describe volume two in comparison to volume one? <laughs> oh, wow. Um, <laughs> Everyone's oh giving me this really dark reaction. <laughs> yeah, I feel, it's very I feel dark. like it's darker, yeah. Dark. A lot darker. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's f***ed up. Yeah. yeah. In the best way. Yeah. I'll never get over how cute they look for monsters. And they're like, no, please don't hurt me. And then, wow! Fangs. Just like a boatload of fangs. All up in your business.